These are 7 reasons on why you should pull for Yoimiya. First is the buffed overload damage. With her skill enabling her to shoot pyro arrows to enemies, she will be the fastest applicator of pyro. Pairing her with Fischl or Beido or the leaked Electro MC will let her abuse the buffed overloaded damage especially when Sucrose is added to give her EM and keep them under control during overload knockbacks. Number 2. She is the coolest bow attack animation. One of the reasons that Fischl is my favorite character to play is because of her attack animations. But with Yoimiya coming out, she might get some competition on which is now my favorite bow user. Number 3. One of her best weapons is a 4 star. With most of her damage coming from her normal attacks during her E duration, Rust would be perfect for her. It's quite common now for any account to have a Rust lying around in their inventory. Based from the theory crafters, numbers show that Rust would be the second best for her normal attacks during her E, second only to the 5 star bow dedicated for her. Even if you don't have Rust, there will be new craftable weapons in 1.7 which will include a weapon called Demon Slayer Bow that will complement Yoimiya's kit with its passive. Number 4. She is an artifact set that's built for her. Coming up in 1.7 with her will be an artifact set unofficially translated as Shiminawa of Memories. It has a 2-piece effect of plus 18% attack which is always good and a 4-piece effect that will greatly increase her normal attack damage for 10 seconds, which is also exactly her E duration. It has a condition that revolves around energy, but it should be manageable with good battery characters like Bennett, Fischl, and the upcoming Electro MC, which will also excel at providing energy particles. Number 5. Her playstyle can be very flexible. She can be your main DPS utilizing Overload with Fischl or Vaporize with Xing Chu because their cooldowns are in sync with each other since Xing Chu's ult has a 20 second cooldown, same with her E. And Yoimiya can also play a sub DPS role to a cryo DPS like Ganyu and Ayaka, allowing Yoimiya to reverse melt with her burst. Or with a hydro DPS like Child for her burst to vaporize with. This is because her passive and burst incentivizes swapping out to other party members, enabling her to play a sub DPS role. Number 6. Just like Ganyu and Mona, she has a beautiful character design. Aesthetics is probably one of her best selling point right now, since her numbers are still being worked out in beta. And it's not looking the best with her very low scaling on charge attacks, high cooldowns with her skills, and 80 energy cost on her burst. But one thing that she's gonna prove to be great at is pleasing us with her looks, fluid mechanics, and amazing visual effects. Which is what you would want anyway when exploring the world of Teyvat. Lastly, for number 7, her banner would most likely include a new Forcer character named Sayu. Now Sayu is an animal character that can roll around to swirl and proc Viridescent, which will always be useful to someone like Yoimiya, who's a very elemental reliant DPS. Now it'll be real nice to get your Pyro Waifu while also getting a new character that complements her along the way. That's all for this video! Hopefully, this helps you decide as early as possible on whether you should save up for Yoimiya. Now you can tell us your thoughts down in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on my videos when she comes out. As always, thanks for watching.